What do I do with you? Lock you up? Put bars on the windows? I can't stay at home all night and watch you. I know. I'm not one of those secretaries who punch out at five. I'm a rising star, right? Did Johnny know about this? Because I'm going to kill him. I just wanted to talk to Vincenzo. I never should have let him back. I just need it. Just wanted. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's <laughs> Theater of the Unreal. I knew it. I knew this was another one of Johnny's pipe dreams. You screwed up again, didn't you? Johnny, what's going on? Is this part of the show? I got it. I got it. They're getting antsy. They're going to want their money back. If you give them their money back, you can't pay us. It's all under control. I just gotta go find a spare ball. Fuse. Something. Why can't he get anything right? We're gonna have to fix this one, too. We need to light up the stage somehow. Hmm. This is a weird lighthouse. Do you think it's some kind of science lab? It reminds me of Vincenzo's workshop. I think this is what lights up the lights up there. Let me see if I can fix it.
After a few days, the princess got to wondering. Why did I keep trying to give her away? And now, ladies and gentlemen, the amazing Vincenzo's Theater of the Unreal. I got the lights on. We'll talk about this after. Ladies and gentlemen, a physicist named Albert Einstein tells us that our universe may not be the only one. There may be infinite others, each slightly different from ours. But our dreams in our world may be reality in those. To citizens of these other worlds, we are shadows. This appears to you to be an ordinary box, but it is actually what we call a tesseract or an octocoron. Suppose I open it, not in the three dimensions we live in, but along its fourth dimension. I can take out surprising things, things that are familiar and yet Strange. But in this world of shadows, what seems familiar may be dangerous. What you don't know can hurt you. But what frightens you can also turn into something of surpassing beauty if you only understand it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. To something, aren't you? I tried, Kat. I really tried. Mom was right. I made a lot of promises I couldn't keep. What is with you? Without you, I'd be in the river. But it worked out, Daddy. I nearly got you hurt, kiddo. You would have saved me if I needed it. Enjoy the show? I want you to meet the little girl who turned the lights back on. You made the lighthouse work? I fixed the puppet show, too. And the pirate ship. You fixed the pirate ship? It was only a little broken. See? 
She's almost as smart as you. Of course, she's brave, too. What's that supposed to mean? That you're rich, famous, and afraid of a little girl. What would you have me do, Mr. Fenris? Take her on my world tour? Take her to Shanghai and Istanbul and those other filthy and dangerous cities as some sort of apprentice? Is, is that what you came here to propose? Daddy, oh, no! I don't know, just... Dee Dee deserves better. They both deserve better. They need you. I think they need you. Me? I'm a walking calamity. No, Daddy, we you need you. You risked your life to be with them. Johnny, what did you do? He nearly got himself killed to get you back. I wouldn't do that for anybody. But I'm just gonna keep screwing up. I can help you fix things. Would you take me back? For good? Oh, Johnny. Yay! Would you like to see my workshop? Again? Yeah. I bet you get to Shanghai on your own steam. But how? Oh, you'll figure something out. After all, you are my daughter. How'd you do that? I thought only Dawn could do that. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Thanks for taking care of Dee Dee. you